So today we are going to be reading Do Not Take Your Dragon to Dinner. This looks very scary. She does not look happy. I don't think she's happy that her dragon is going to dinner with her. She just wants to go alone, you know? But here is the book. There it is. Nice. Do not take your dragon to dinner. Looks like he's messing up the table. I just love this kid's face. I would do the same if I saw a dragon messing up the table and the strawberry cake. The strawberry cake looks yummy. But it's a special occasion. It's time for a treat. Time to dress up and go out to eat. But carefully consider your dinner's guest list. For, my dear friend, I must simply insist. Do not take your dragon to dinner. Why is he not taking a dragon to dinner? A rude guest like a dragon disturbs everyone. He barges right in. He spoils the fun. A wing in your face. A tail and a drink. And worst of all, that distinct dragon smell. Ugh, that does not smell good. And I've not smelt it before. It's just I would imagine it. So do not take your dragon to dinner. Be you. Be you. Waiting for food. She'll get re really bored. And then her behavior cannot be ignored. She'll grab for your phone. She'll crawl on the floor. She'll stand on the table and let out a roar. Just look at this person's face. I love all these people's faces. It's just funny. So do not take your dragon to dinner. You may believe that once food is in sight, your dragon will sit and be so polite. But he'll pick up his bowl. He'll, he'll drink with a slurp. And then he'll let out a fiery burp. So do not take your dragon to dinner. Dragons are known for taking big bites. When the food spills back out, it's a terrible sight. She pounds on the table. She plays with her food. She picks at her fangs. She's very, very rude. The dinosaur just stole his hamburger. So do not stick your dragon to dinner. How many times does this book have to say, do not take your dragon to dinner, but you're still taking them? Because he just keeps saying it. But my dragon is so very special to me. I was just saying that. Celebrate without him? It simply can't be. He's part of my family. Part of my heart. What can I do? What can I do? So we don't have to part. You have to train him. Ah, my friend. I sense your frustration. But dinner at home can be a grand celebration. You can ask your dragon to help with the meal. His flame can sear. His claws can peel. He can set the table. Put each dish in its place. He can light the candles with incredible grace. Then at dinner, practice being polite. Sit still. Use silverware. Try not to ignite. Ask him to use napkins instead of his wings. Remind him to ignore the phone if it rings. Encourage him to close his mouth when he chews. And be sure he remembers his pleases and thank yous. Practice this often and you're an antique beginner. You will soon be taking you out to dinner. That's the new rule. If you don't train your dragon, you can't take him to dinner. But if you train your dragon, you can. So, yep, that's the end of the book. I hope you guys liked it. I think I liked Do Not Take Your Dragon to Dinner. It's a pretty fun story. Nice colors. Nice pictures. Nice everything. And...
I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.